Tonight, it's a simple screening that could save your life. Doctors and breast cancer awareness advocates remind you, even during this pandemic, you still need to get that regular mammogram screening. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shows us the process and shares why doctors don't want you to delay any diagnosis. For Samara Treadwell, shining a light on breast cancer screenings is personal. Her family lost her aunt to a battle with late-stage breast cancer. Shortly after that, I also lost my mother-in-law to the same type of battle. Um, both of them had had their uh, baseline mammograms at an appropriate age, but had terrible experiences and both chose not to have another mammogram. Treadwell is the operations manager for BayCare Outpatient Imaging in Land O'Lakes. Her mission, to turn this exam room into a welcoming environment, help ease any fear and anxiety around mammograms, and make the process a positive one so patients don't decide to skip a screening. What I did not want was one more person, one more mom, one more sister, one more daughter, to go through the same thing that my family experienced. And I didn't want another patient to go through a door and have a terrible experience and choose never to go back. The process is simple. During your mammogram, they'll typically take four pictures, two of each breast. Each picture takes about 12 seconds, the entire process about 15 minutes. Dr. Lana Bellin, a radiologist with BayCare, recommends every woman 40 years or older get an annual screening mammogram if they're asymptomatic. Further explaining, if you have any specific concerns or are at higher risk, an earlier screening or evaluation may be necessary. She stresses early detection is key. About 95% of cancers are curable if found early, so we want to find them early if possible. And screening mammogram also decreases mortality rate significantly. There's a 40% decrease in mortality rate. So whether it's a fear of discomfort or even the pandemic, advocates say don't put it off, reminding you to put your health first. It is uncomfortable, but it's 12 seconds of uncomfortable that could save a life. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.